Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and in this video we're gonna talk about properties in Swift. So without any further ado, let's get started. So guys, properties basically associate values with a particular class, structure or enumerations. Like these are of major three types. The first one is a stored property, the second one is computed property and the third one is type property. In this video, we're going to talk about two properties that is the stored one and the computed one. So guys, stored properties can store constant and variable values as a part of an instance. Whereas, computed properties calculate the value instead of storing the value. Okay, so if we differentiate between both of them, then we can say that stored properties are provided by classes and structures only, whereas computed properties are provided by classes, structures and enumerations. So let's discuss both of them in our Xcode playground. So guys, let's discuss the stored property first. So here we have an example in, in which we have this structure called fixed length range and we have these two objects in it. First one is a var that is first value type of integer and the second one is a let constant that is length of type integer. Now we create an instance of this structure called range of three items which is a var. All right. Now we try to initialize both the values that is the first value to be 0 and the second value to be 3. The length would be 3 in this case. Now this range represent, represents the integer values 0, 1, 1 and 2. As you can see, the first value would be 0 and the length up to 3 would be 0, 1 and 2. Now if we try to change the first value, then we will write range of 3 items dot first value equal to 6. Now the range would represent 6, 7 and 8. Now in the same example, if I try to change the value of length, then it must not change because it is a let constant. So it will throw an error or it, or it will ask me to change the let to be var. As you can see in this error description, change let to var to make it mutable. So that's all about variable structure, variable instance structure of this uh, stored property. Let's try to take a constant instance structure for this that would be if I try to change it to let the instance to be a constant and now if I want to change the first value then it must throw an error yes it is showing an error that is change let to var to make it mutable it want me to change this range of three items to be a var if I want to change the first value once I you know you can notice here that the main reason behind the error is that structures are value types. So if we try to make a particular instance to be a let constant, then all of its properties are going to be a let constant and it, it will not allow us to change any other property. Okay. And this case does not hold true in the case of classes, which are of reference types. So guys, in this uh, stored property, we also have this new thing called lazy var stored properties. So if you want to learn more about lazy var, then I've already made a video on that and I will show the link uh, right at the top. You can click on that and you can just watch out what is lazy var. And I will also give the link of the same video in the description box down below. All right, guys. So now let's talk about computed property. As I told you, it does not store a value, but it calculates it. Like it has two methods called getter and setter and the getter retrieves the value and setter sets a value for a particular variable. In this case, we have this getter and it returns a. So it will print a. In this case, you can see that we don't have any setter method. So a variable with a getter method only is called a read only computed property. Okay. So in the next case, we can see we have this class called alphabets and it has two variables. The first one is underscore a that is of type string and which is also an optional. And the second one is called a that is also of type string but not an optional because it has two methods called getter and setter and the getter will retrieve the value for the variable a and the setter will set a new value for this variable called a. So as you can see in the getter we have written return underscore a otherwise if it doesn't have any value because this is optional then return this string called no set. So as you can see as a result here we have created this instance called alphabet1 of this class alphabets and if we try to print alphabet1.a then it does not have any, have any value because underscore a we have not given any value to underscore a so it is printing no set right here as you can see but if we try to give a value to alpha underscore a by writing this alphabet 
one dot underscore a is equal to suppose hey there so guys as you can see it will print the value hey there for this new variable called a as well let me show you by printing this value print a dot alphabet in this manner and in the console down below you will see the answer that is yes here you can see that hey there is a you know result for this print statement so guys in this manner we can change uh, you know retrieve the value using the computed property and let me set the value explicitly for this a in this case and see what will happen right alphabet one dot a equal to suppose hello so let's see what it will print and it must print this value hello for this as you can see in the console down below it is printing hello and if I try to write that prior statement again for underscore a that is hey there so what will be the result in this case yes it is still hello because we have explicitly set the value so guys now let's try to uh, use this setter method in which we have written that underscore a would be equal to the new value that is if we give a value to the uh, variable called a then that value must set inside underscore a as well so let's try to print this underscore a and let's see what will be the result so i'll just print this guy rather than this underscore a okay so in the console down below you will see the result as well in the right tab as well so let's see what will it print so it's printing optional hello because it is an optional type and in the right tab as well you can see that it is printing hello for underscore a because it has set the new value that is this value in, in which uh, I have written this alphabet dot a equal to hello it is setting this new value to this underscore a variable as well all right so guys that's all for now if you have any doubt in these two properties called stored property and computed property then you can write your doubt in the comment section down below and I will surely reply to that. So guys, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Jai Hind.